Happy Halloween, everybody. And y'all really wanted to put a smile on our face today with this artist because we've done them once. And it was uh, Mississippi, Mississippi Squirrel, Squirrel Revival. Revival. And as soon as I seen this suggestion come in, I was like, it's Halloween. This is perfect fitting for it. But before we get into all that, welcome to Rob Squad Reactions. You are here Monday through Sunday, three times a day with your boy Jay. Hey, y'all. You're also here with your girl Amber. Now, Halloween is for scares for me. So knowing that we're getting Ray Stevens makes me feel like I'm going to laugh because this man is a character. The title of the song, however, is Sitting Up With The Dead. You guys, a few of you came through on this one and recommended it. And of course, it was eye-catching, so we're ready. And... I just feel like with Ray Stevens, like you said, you're going to laugh. You're going to smile. Just from the one we've done. I don't know what all of his music sound like. Sounds he suggested. Like. They, there was a few other Ray Stevens songs that were suggested, but too. The one we've done has been hilarious. Y'all yeah. send suggestions. We give people what they want. Let's check out some Ray Stevens. <laughs> Sitting up with the dead. Well, out in the country, we didn't have mortuaries, and so it was always customary for the undertaker to do his job and lay your kin out right there at home. <laughs> yeah, and the church would no be folding chairs, and you'd have visitation and everything right there, but when the nighttime come, you'd have to sit up with the dead because it wasn't right to leave them alone. was 65 when my old arthritic uncle Fred died. He was 97 and so stooped over the mortician couldn't straighten him out. <laughs> they used a logging chain to hold him down. Covered that all up with a cape and a gown and didn't tell nobody <laughs> in the family because that's the kind of stuff folks just don't want to know about. Right, right. I like the riff. Well, we were all sitting there. It was three in the morning. And then there come up a cloud of thunder, lightning, and storming. Well, that lightning flashed, and that thunder clapped, and that chain round old Uncle Fred went snap, rattled and fell to the floor with a thump, and Uncle Fred just sat right up. <laughs> and I said, I'm Al. No more. I don't know <laughs> about you. No, I ain't sitting up with the dead no more. No matter what you say or do. They say the dead can't hurt you cause they already left. But what they left can sure make you hurt yourself. And I ain't sitting up with the dead no more since the dead started sitting up too. Lord have mercy. I love some Ray Stevens, man. Like I said, I knew we were gonna come in here, we were gonna smile, we were yeah. gonna laugh. Like he, he just makes it silly, everything's so silly and funny. But the riff, I absolutely love the dun, Yeah, dun, but dun, the dun, harmonica dun. that's going crazy yeah. at the same time at that riff, like it's nice. He said they held him down with chains, but we didn't tell the family because that's just something just folks people don't want to know about. Don't know about. No, I, no, Ray Stevens. So far, he's such a fantastic uh. storyteller. I'm cracking up because I'm also like secretly cross my fingers hoping this ain't something that could really happen. Like when he said there was no morticians, like no place to do it. So back then they were in the house. They're doing it in the house. Nah. Now I'm hoping this is just for story purposes and this is not something you guys really live through because it sounds horrifying when he said that they have to sit up with the dead because it just ain't right to leave him alone. He said he was cool with sitting up with the dead until the dead started sitting, sitting up, up with up him. <laughs> Until the dead started sitting up too because they did something and that chain fell off. Remember, oh, oh, was it his uncle was so Set bent up. over that since the chain was gone, he popped up. I'm out. <laughs> I'm first one running up out of there. So did everyone there. And there came a great parting of the folding chairs and that preacher nearly knocked me down. He said, oh, I'm heading out that kitchen door. <laughs> I hollered, grab that kitchen ain't got no door. No worries, son. It will have in a minute. Now, <laughs> He's like, I'm never seen through it. so much jumping and shoving before. And then somebody stepped on the old cat's tail. He let out a scream, a screech, a wail, and to say the least, that howl didn't help to calm the situation down. And then that lightning flashed, and that house went black, and I spoke to my feet. So I said, boys, make tracks. And I went through that screen door, licking his split for time. Whoa! 
Well, I cut through the cemetery, fell in a hole. Oh, no. It was Uncle Fred's grave, and it was dark and cold. <laughs> he had a town drunk, dug it, and he dug it too deep. And unbeknownst to me, he's still in there asleep. And I'm scratching and jumping, trying to get out of that hole. And he woke up and said, You might as well come over here and sit down beside me, boy, because <laughs> you ain't getting out of here tonight. <laughs> no, I'm getting out. But I did. <laughs> and I ain't that love with the dead no more. I don't know about you. No, I ain't that love with the dead no more. No matter what you say or do. They say the dead can't hurt you because they already left. But what they left can sure make you hurt yourself. And I ain't sitting up with the dead no more since the dead started sitting up too. Wasn't no sense in nobody sitting up with Uncle Fred anyhow. Uncle Fred dummy me gonna set up with his own self. <laughs> Next time I'm just gonna send flowers. Right? Because I ain't even coming. Learn my lesson. I ain't that sitting up with him no more. was hilarious. Like I said, Ray Stevens, he is that guy. With, and like I said, we've only done two of the songs. I don't know if everything's like comedy, but I want to check out some more. Hey, of it. if it is, I'm totally here for it Ooh. because it made me smile, especially at the, the end. Thing. When it, we were like rhyming and everything had a rhythm and then when he was stuck in the hole with the, the undertaker who was, uh, who dug it. The town it, drunk. The town drunk who dug it and it just, we don't, hey, you're, you're not getting out here. You might as well. But I did. But I did. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. And then the way everybody got out and ran out that house, Jay would definitely be one of the first. I don't need a door. First, no, I wouldn't have needed a door. But the I'll thing is, I would be responsible for grabbing up the children because Jay would be out of there. Out of there. I, I don't care if it was my, I don't care if it was my mama who rose up out that casket. I'm out of there. <laughs> Gosh. Thank y'all so much. We hope you have an amazing day. Hope you guys have fun tonight for Halloween. If you guys go down and celebrating, but we always send you out of here the same way, no matter what channel of ours it's on. We love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. And remember, every single day that you wake up, it is a blessing, and that you are blessed to see another day. And for your new family members, then hit that subscribe button down below. We welcome you guys to the RSR family, and hope you enjoy your time here with us. But while you are here, you got a very important goal, just like all of us do. Let them know, Mom. All right, guys. All you got to do is make somebody smile. And since it's Halloween, if you will be out trick-or-treating, make sure you get yourself some good candy. My favorite. Scare some kids tonight. Don't. Or spook some kids No, tonight. don't spook That's all the children do. in the neighborhood. My favorite candy I'm going to be looking out for because the kids will share a little bit with me. I'm going to be looking for uh, Reese's. Mm, Reese's. You know I'm a favorite. Kit Kat guy. Yeah. But guys, thank y'all. We love you. Hope you have a great day. Until next time, we'll see y'all later.